What's good YouTube, it's Justice I used to be paying today, I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how Boss Man D'Lo is kind of bringing back traditional trap music. But before I get into that, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Do all those things, it helps me out a ton. Boss Man D'Lo has quickly turned into one of the fastest rising stars in rap over the last like year, year and a half. And the guy just makes bangers. Like that's just the category of music that he makes. He makes the perfect songs for any sort of function that you're going to any party birthday party club whatever he makes the perfect music to ride around to with your friends and overall he just makes turn up music and his formula is pretty simple but it works extremely extremely well and his flow on his songs is very very similar from song to song but it, it's effective that that's all that really matters even though it's not anything crazy from song to song but it's effective and he delivers really clever hard-hitting punchlines that make his music extremely memorable and it also makes his music quite easy to spread and so a lot of his songs end up actually kind of turning into anthems because of these memorable hard-hitting punchlines he's also extremely viral all over the internet but specifically Specifically, and probably most importantly at this point, TikTok. He's super, super viral on TikTok to the point in which if you're somebody that goes on TikTok somewhat regularly and you don't even, let's say you don't even listen to Boss Mandilo outside of TikTok, I guarantee you that you probably know most of the lyrics to the song Get In With Me, which was like the first song that he had that really started to blow him up. You don't even have to go and listen to that song on your own to know the lyrics because that's how viral that song has been on TikTok. I say all this to say that the man is having a crazy run right now. He's having a whole bunch of success in a somewhat simple way, as people are describing it, for 2024, where pretty much everyone who's in music right now feels like they have to do something crazy vocally or do something crazy singing-wise or be a rock star or just have some crazy, crazy production that nobody else has heard. He's doing it in a way that's a pretty simple formula. And I saw somebody perfectly describe this on Twitter the other day, and they said, Boss Mandilo is bringing back the traditional power forward. Now, if you don't watch basketball, you're not gonna really understand that reference, but me personally, growing up a huge basketball fan, that made perfect sense to me. It clicked immediately, because Boss Mandilo, in his role as a trap artist, is doing what traditional trap artists do. That's what he is. He's a traditional trap artist in a modern era where everyone has kind of gone away from that side of things. He's kind of bringing that back. He is a traditional power forward. He's like a prime David West. That name might be like really, really strange and random to some of you guys, but for the people that were around, they know like prime David West, that's what he is. He's a great traditional power forward okay he's not out here trying to do all these crazy you know vocal things and trying to sing and jump up and down like a rock star no he's a traditional trap rapper he is a power forward that's a bruiser he sets good screens he has a solid post game okay he's not out there on the wing trying to hezzy tween cross into a three like he's kevin durant no he's on the block he's doing jump hooks he's doing eight to ten foot turnaround jumpers he's playing like a traditional power forward except it's 2024. Pretty much everything in mainstream rap music nowadays is just kind of thrown into the trap category. Anywhere from Boss Man d -Lo to Lil Durk to Playboy Cardi to Travis Scott, like we all just kind of throw it in the trap category. And now trap has kind of lost a little bit of its traditional meaning. We pretty much call trap anything with 808s that sounds somewhat similar to Future or Young Thug, or maybe it just sounds like it came out of Atlanta in general. And we don't really think about like, the lyrical content as much to the point in which trap is basically just now the beats like we just call it what it is based off of the beats kind of like drill music now where drill you know you can call drill drill just because of the beat look at somebody like ice spice some people call ice spice a drill artist because of the beats she uses but obviously she's not rapping about spinning blocks and you know dead dead ops and all that so you know she's not rapping about that but she for some people is a drill artist trap music as a subgenre has gotten so big that that subgenre has a billion subgenres underneath it now. And I want to make it clear, I'm not sitting here complaining about, oh my God, you kids ruined trap music and you perverted it. I don't really care about that because all those artists I name, I love those dudes. Cardi, Travis, Uzi, Lil Durk, I love those guys. But that feeling that we're getting right now from Boss Mandilo is him bringing back traditional trap music on the mainstream scale. It's something that we really haven't seen in a while. He is making trap music actually rapping about trapping and getting money in the traditional sense that the kind of 
subgenre was founded on, much more in alignment with the TIs of the world, the Jeezys, the Gucci Mane, rather than the future and young thug variants that we see kind of running the game today. Boss Man D'Lo makes music that focuses on simple but clever and really hard-hitting punchlines with a great delivery, and he makes the type of music that you would like expect to hear blamming out of a 2005 Cadillac Escalade with subs in the back where it's driving down the street and you can barely hear the lyrics, but all you hear is bass. In the modern era, trap music has blended with so many different things. Firstly, kind of drill music. Drill and trap have overlapped a lot over the last like 10 years now due to honestly a lot of the guys from Chicago kind of going from making traditional Chicago drill music to Atlanta trap music and just kind of blending over. You look at somebody like a Lil Durk or a Chief Keef, especially a Lil Durk, where a lot of the stuff that they're rapping about is still that kind of drill content, but now they're doing it much more in the guise of trap music and using trap beats and Atlanta beats and things of that nature, or even somebody like an NBA young boy who, again, most most of his lyrical content, or at least a lot of it, sounds a lot more like drill music, but the type of beats that he's using are much more in line, ooh, my voice cracked right there, what the hell, are much more in line with like Southern trap music. And on the other side of things, we have somebody like a Playboy Cardi or a Lil Uzi where they mix trap into like kind of the, the rage stuff and some of the rock and roll stuff or somebody like X who took it really, really far with the rage stuff, but still at the end of the day was kind of messing around with and staying a little bit in the boundaries of trap or juice world and Lil peep where they're doing the emo trap thing and just taking it with mixing it with like old rock emo music and things of that nature or you have somebody like travis scott who's taking trap music and mixing it with cloud music and turning it into this whole different thing where you know they're calling it psychedelic trap like there's just so many things that have been blended into the modern era of trap music if I could compare Boss Mandilo and what he's doing and the success he's having to anything right now, it would be to fashion trends because we all know that fashion is kind of a big cycle and that's what's going on with Boss Mandilo bringing back that kind of traditional trap sound on a mainstream scale. It's kind of like how right now everyone went from like the skinny jeans and all that stuff to now everyone's wearing baggy clothes, big old baggy jeans. They're wearing Timberland boots all throughout the year and everyone has their hair braided into cornrows now with different patterns and stuff, just like they did in the early 2000s. Everything in fashion is a cycle and I think that's what's happening with Boss Man D'Lo right now. Boss Man D'Lo has that retro feel to him, like when they re-release Jay's 30 years later. That's what Boss Man D'Lo has. That's the kind of aura that he has because trap music took a massive change. It went down an alternate timeline pretty much when guys like Future and the Migos and Young Thug came around and it really has never been the same since. Not saying, again, I'm not complaining about that. I'm just saying it's not been the same as it was before those artists showed up. And after those artists, we got the Lil Uzis, the Playboy Cardis, the Lil Babies, the Gunnas, and now even after them, we're getting the Ken Carsons and the Destroy Lonelies and the Yeats and all these people who have taken trap music and kind of put their own spin on it, tried to add a whole bunch of extra different stuff to it, tried to put a whole bunch of new things in it. We've had all that happen. And so when somebody comes around and kind of strips all the layers back from all the stuff we've seen over the last 10 years and just shows us how good traditional trap music can be again, but putting their own little spin on it and adding some 2024 flair, it becomes super viral. It becomes something that everyone wants to be attached to. And that's what Boss Mandilo is doing right now. He took all that extra stuff that people have added on to trap over the last 10, 15 years, took it off, put his own little sauce on there and said, hey, remember how you guys like the original? Here it is, but it's my version, and it's worked extremely well, and he's brought back traditional trap music on the mainstream scale, so now we can actually call that trap music. What he is making is trap music, and it's made me really reconsider what I'm gonna call the rest of the music that's been called trap music. Not to say that, again, it's not real trap music, because who honestly cares? Because the music is still great. It's just not really trap music, if you get what I'm saying. I don't know, maybe we can call it like, AT alien music, or maybe maybe we can call it like futuristic music, not because it's futuristic, but because pretty much every trap artist since 2013 has been inspired by future. I don't know what we should call that other stuff, but that's not real, really trap music, like in its core. What Boss Mandilo makes is real trap music. But 
If you agree, if you disagree, let me know down below in the comments. If you made it this far, I greatly, greatly appreciate you. Let me know what you think about Boss Mandilo and his traditional 2024 trap music. It's not exactly what it used to sound like, but it's of that essence. Um, but again, if you made it this far, I greatly, greatly appreciate you. Have a good day. Be safe. Be blessed. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I go by the name of Pay. Peace.